with this record, I would almost say it's a little bit maybe beefier than the last two. A little bit, a little bit sort I of more. I think that's a correct yeah. assessment. Yeah. yeah. Right. And but how does it? Is the acoustic version the same, or what, what can we expect? Well, Less beef. Yeah. Less beef. Vegetarian, Vegetarian yeah. version. Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Yeah. You kind of have to rearrange that. Like you know, Healthier it's hard version. to it's hard to translate the songs. You know the way that they are on the okay. album. It's obviously with like electric guitars. Yeah, and, well, of course. You know all that kind of stuff. So we always try and rearrange them and make it completely like kind of sitting in a different world that really mm. suits the acoustic thing. Are you finding that maybe the older songs you're beefing up as well to, to fit with the new stuff or is there sort of a nice flow? Like in a live sense? Yeah. I think the the ones from the new album are, are fitting in really well with the kind of first album stuff, which was mm. more guitar centric, a bit more yeah. up tempo. So in a live sense, that's working really well um, from the gigs we've done so far. Um, yeah, the, the crowd are getting pretty excited about some of the new ones. And, and yeah, once the album comes out, hopefully just getting that yeah. familiarity with, with the whole album would mean we can start to throw in a few extra ones, a few of the more obscure ones into yeah. the live set too. Do you think like now on the third record that having lived in London for a bit and then having lived in different parts of the world, that that has changed your sound? I think you kind of, I don't think on like a, on an outer level it would have. I think you naturally, as, as we get older and, and get more experience with what we do, Obviously, traveling kind of broadens your mind and, and seeing other cultures and that kind of thing. Um, Dougie and Johnny did some riding in a castle in the south of France at, at one point. Um, so, yeah. So some kind of like medieval influences coming across <laughs> in, in the music. Yeah, the there's, a, there's a lute solo and a hidden track at the end there. Oh, Just amazing. keep your ears out for that. Swords clashing. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're we'll looking forward to that. How are you feeling now, just a week before it's released? It feels quite surreal, actually, because it's been such a emotional roller coaster um a lot of highs and lows and you know self-doubts and and kind of feeling really good and then feeling kind of confused and so it's it's weird to be at this end of the whole process and um yeah I I exciting but probably a mixed bag of emotions do you think it'll be a, a relief almost when it when it finally comes out something you've been working at least on a good word yeah years, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, your album thickest leaves comes out next friday uh, you're gonna be uh, on the in session with Tim next mm -hmm. week and uh, best of luck guys thank you thank very much you. thanks for having us